I would just like to, oh my gosh, I mean, you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to hide from these people that live in my house. The best thing that's ever happened to me, I thought, was all these basketball games on because it gives them something to do. Sorry, these are reading glasses. I'm like either dizzy or I'm, I can't see. Well, the problem with the basketball games is one, why are there so many? Two, this whole bracket thing. I've never made a bracket in my life. Well, evidently, my family takes the bracket very seriously. It's all I've heard about now for two days. So, we, I just got home. I have been, hold on, I'm going to get my phones out to hold it. Let's turn the thing here. Hold on. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that worked. I have been on a college tour. So, this is kind of big for me. I have four children, and I, um, I've never gone to look at colleges with anybody other than myself. And so this is kind of starting a new chapter in my life. So if you are particularly interested in this chapter, I have already learned right much. So I would just like to say, come subscribe, $5 a month. I'm gonna give you your first tidbit tonight for free. Okay, you wanna know what it is? Evidently, there's this thing and it's called the college tour. You go on the college's website you pick a day and you pick a time and you tour. People sign up months in advance. It's like the Dern DMV trying to get the license or the permit. Why well, we can't get an appointment now till June? Wait, Purdue lost? Oh my gosh, that's who my son Thomas picked as the main team. Uh, and he's in a bracket where the loser gets dumped off in the middle of DC and they're not allowed to have anything but $20 and they have to figure out how to get home. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, you have to sign up months in advance for the tour. Hello, hello, Adrian. Ha do you have no friends? Clearly not. Why didn't anybody tell me that? Where are all my friends with older children? I don't know. They don't like me anymore. I'm gonna be like Mark Zuckerberg. I'm just gonna change over and morph into the metaverse friendships. <laughs> so Mark, Mark, I just saw your name, Tina Lassiter, and I thought it said Ted Lasso. The metaverse, I, I mean, I'm not kidding for that for some reason, but Mark Zuckerberg has just, not, has just laid off like 10,000 more people. Four months ago, they laid off 11,000 people. And they've invested like, I don't know, hundreds of millions into the metaverse. And he was going to sell all these Quest headsets. Like he said by now, I'm going to sell a billion. They've sold like a million. A million versus a billion. Is that 1% of a billion? A million? No. 1%. No. That's 0.01%. Hold on, let me get the dog. Dog cannot stand for me. Nobody in my family likes me to get anything done. Nobody likes me to have anything done. They don't like me to accomplish anything. They don't like me to do anything except go in there and yell at them about why the whole house smells like burnt oatmeal. Okay, so that's one thing I didn't know. I assumed you had appointments. Linda Sizemore, really, Adrian? Really? We had an appointment today at Wake Forest. We made the appointment. We set it up a couple weeks ago. But evidently, State and Carolina, you have to set up the appointments way in advance. I didn't know this. So I started thinking about I was looking at colleges in 1993. I'm channeling my 1993-ish. Had two graduates from college. I assume you knew the ropes. How the hell would I know the ropes? What, what, how would I know these things? So when I looked at colleges, my dad starts telling my son Thomas this last night. 
he, we go to the Angus barn for dinner. We're going to Wake Forest. We're going to go spend the night, go, la, 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 see the college. And my dad says to my oldest son, who's 17, did your mother tell you about when she went to colleges? And I was like, um, before you tell this story, which I'm sure is somehow derogatory towards me, I would just like to discuss the fact that you never took me to see a college. Never. That was a good lesson for Thomas. Shoot, Thomas doesn't care. Um, my parents, we didn't go visit colleges. And I was yesterday thinking, oh, you know, my poor parents, like my brother had died. He was 19. I was 15. Like they were so overwhelmed. And I'm telling my friend Mary Scott this. And she's like, my parents never took me to any college. I'm like, well, maybe nobody went to see colleges. We did tours of the colleges, signed up for them all, toured the school. The students take you around. I mean, you're just dinksty bingsty. Episcopal should talk to him about college touring. We've just started this. Y'all are pressuring me. So I'm going to be totally honest with you for a minute. Go to each college website to get the info well in advance. Bing, bing, bing. That's what I just said. Listen, listen carefully. We are not going to drown in college stressing. No. Where did you get your glasses? They're made by peepers. I got them at the airport. We're not. We are not going to stress. And do you know why? I'm going to tell you another secret. This is also... I mean, if you don't subscribe after this video, you're dead to me. You need to get in touch with Lori Laughlin. I'm crew. I love crew. Um, oh, sh sh now, what was I going to say? Oh, if you don't get into the college you want and you want to go, I mean, you, you really want to go to NC State and you didn't get in. We're not going to cry. We're not going to moan. We're not going to like pretend we didn't want to go there because we're ashamed we didn't get in. You know what we're going to do? We're going to say to people, darn, we didn't get into NC State. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to the community college at home and we're going to do that for a semester. Might even go to summer school too. And we're going to kick A double S and we're going to have all A's. And then you know what we're going to do? We're going to apply to transfer over to NC State. And lo and behold, you know what happens? Ding, ding, ding. You're in. You're in. True story. True story. Now, you know the problem why people don't want to do that? Is it's their pride. Pride is a terrible, terrible thing. Everybody wants to, everybody wants to apply to the college and then tell the people that they got in. And then all the other people don't get in and they're miserable and they're crying, but they don't tell anybody because they're so ashamed and embarrassed and then they go look at other schools. It's just a total cluster, a cluster. It ain't gonna be a cluster over here. Do you know why? It doesn't matter where you start. People never say, where did you start college? What they say is, where did you graduate from? Hello. Where did you graduate? That's all they want to know. So I'm just saying, is that the right path for everybody? No. Is there a right path for everybody? Again, no. Do I think my son Thomas would like and benefit from going to the community college first? No, I don't. I don't think that would be a great plan for him. He's been off at boarding school. I think... Um, He's accustomed to being away. I don't think that would be great for him. But could he do that? Yes, he could. If it is that important to him that he wants to go to some school, then you know what? Do it. Exactly, Faye. You can also save a crap ton of money. But nobody likes to talk about that because it's, it's considered to be um, a little bit like, you know, ew, we just wanted, did you finish? 
What did I finish? I finished a lot of degrees. Anyway, tech schools, yes. So I, I, I can't tell you how much I'm practicing when I'm preaching. The other thing I think that is really important, and tomorrow Little Thomas is coming on my subscriber page and we're gonna talk about this whole college thing because I think it's good to hear from a junior in high school. Um, my daughter graduated from Camden County High School went to UNCW Med School at MC Plastic Surgery Resident Wake Forest. Wow, I know you're proud of her. Um, not all college classes transfer to the final university. No, they don't. That's right, they do not. Community college here. Um, the other really big thing is that my brain is smush, mush, smush, mush. Um, what was I saying? Crap. Community college credit does not transfer to most private. So community college does transfer to state universities. And the example I gave was NC State. So the way that I'm talking about it, it is very relevant and necessary, but you're right. Like Davidson takes, I think four, um, you can transfer like four AP hours. And of course these private schools want you to come and take all the classes there. But what we're talking about is our state universities. This is what we're talking about this evening. Very important. Any advice? None, I've got none. I got nothing. Um, so one, don't stress. Two, be realistic with your child. So we use this site um, that Thomas's school came up. It's called SCORE, S-C-O-I-R. Has anybody heard of this? It's really amazing. So you go into SCORE and you can look at, like from Thomas's school, who, where people from his school applied, did they get in, did they not, and what their scores were. So you never know the name, but you know like this was their SAT score, this were their grades, they got in. Now you don't know, are they first generation? Are they in-state students? Which is kind of tricky. But we've had some really good conversations. So Thomas and I were going through this discussion of um, UVA. So UVA is a great school, right? UVA is particularly a good school if you live in Virginia. So if you live in North Carolina, UVA has, I don't know, 40,000 people apply. Well, 15% are first generation, you've got 40% minorities, and then you've got 75% that are in-state students. So by the time you whittle down and you get to Thomas, my lovely, wonderful son, who is not first generation, he's not a minority, he's not a Virginia resident, and then you get to those that number, well, you get to about 400 spots and you say half are boys, half are girls. So it ended up, Thomas has like 180 white boys are gonna get into UVA from out of state. So do you know what kind of grade you would have to have to be one of those 180? Like a 99 average. We don't have a 99 average. Thomas has a great average. I think it's like a 93, it's really good. Mine was like an 82, so let's just be honest. I said to Thomas, you know, I'm not saying you can't apply to um, you can't apply to UVA, but I don't think you're gonna get in. When I look at the unless you do something amazing, like if you invent something or you've like, you know, done something crazy, but if not, I don't think you're gonna get in. I think it'd be really hard to get into Carolina from out of state, you know? And I think it's okay to have those conversations with your kids. It doesn't, it's nothing against them. It's just being honest, right? Um, so, Sounds to me you're stressed already. I'm stressed about not wanting to be stressed. Does that count? Um, 
I find the process is kind of makes me sad for people. I think some people put their whole life stock in this stuff and I don't. Um, I'm in the middle of it now and I'm juggling like it's a real thing of like encouraging your children to follow their dreams and hopes and then um, also do the math. So for Carolina, for instance, UNC Chapel Hill is UNC Chapel Hill is 15% out of state students. So they have 3,300 kids that go, right? 3,300. So if you take out half minority, again, 15% um, first generation, which is awesome. I mean, who doesn't love first generation? Like Thomas and I talked about that for 20 minutes on the way home. Like, would you be first generation if like your great grandmother went, but nobody else had? I was like, I don't know, we need to find out. If you are from out of state and you're trying to get into Carolina and there are only 3,300 freshmen and 15%, let me go get my calculator. 15% are out of state. Let's do the math. Y'all ask a lot of questions. What would he like to study? Did Thomas get upset when I said that to him? No, it's just math. Thomas can go to Virginia for the same cost. We were just talking about it. You know, he's, a, he's in high school in Virginia, and UVA is like a big deal, you know? Um, he also wants to apply to the Air Force Academy, which is a pretty big jump, but he's really been looking at it, and he feels like he has a, a chance of going. He's applied to the Air Force Academy summer camp. He's been reading a lot about it and watching videos about it and um so yay for him so let's let's do we're gonna do a little math some people don't trust my math that's right 15 percent out of state students at state in carolina now the amount changed if you go to unc pembroke wilmington unc Asheville. if your grandparents went to college but your parents did not go to college they consider you first generation Oh, well, that's interesting. That's what I, we were wondering. I'll tell Thomas she said that. Oh, hell. My freaking calculator doesn't work. Don't go on it. What the hell? Oh, I didn't press the on button. Nope. I mean, oh, now it works. Okay. So we're going to do 3,300 times 0.15 equals... 495. So Carolina is going to have 495 acceptances from out of state. Okay. So we're going to say times 40% minority. Okay. So again, we're operating from, in this case, if you're a white male. Okay. 198. Now we're gonna do times 0.15, first generation. It's 29, 230. What was my first number? It's not good. It's not good. No. Let me start over. 3,300 times 0.15. So Carolina is only gonna have 500 students from out of state. Oh, men, girls and boys. So that's half are gonna be, that's 250 males and 250 females, right? And then let's say you do half minorities. So that's 125 white, 125 the other. Then you have first generation, that's 15%. So that's gonna take out another 30. So 90, 90, 90 white males, right, from wherever, and 90 minority males from out of state. Do you know how smart you're going to have to be to get those positions? Real smart. Real smart. And not even smart. You just are going to have to, I don't know, do something. I mean, my children are brighter than my husband and I did. 
they did, they've done better in school, but um, North Carolina doesn't let Virginia students go for their in-state tuition. Well, we know this. That's what the term is, in-state tuition. You have to be in-state. How many transfer students? I don't know. That's an interesting question. How many transfer students? Um, so be realistic with your kids, like be honest and go through, go through the rules. So what I was reading is it might say, um, like for the Air Force Academy, it said they have an acceptance rate of like 3%. Well, this fellow who graduated from there has written a lot about it. And he said, well, the acceptance rate is actually higher because a lot of people don't read the rules of what you need to do. So if you look at the minimum SAT score for Vassar, and it says it's 1370, and you've got a 1350, you know going, you have to stick to what's the minimum score. So what this guy said is, make sure you're reading the rules for the Air Force Academy. You have to have four years of foreign language. So you took three years of foreign language and you're graded all these things. They clearly say you have to do all these things. They'll still let you apply, but when they go through their application, they'll be like, eh, 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 eh. Does Thomas want higher education? You know, I don't know. Today we were talking about, he was like, Mom, does everybody um, go to graduate school? And we were talking about, like, what is graduate school? Dentistry school, optometry school, law school, PhD, nursing school. Um, you think smarts has anything to do with acceptance? You are Cocoa Puff, whatever. Do I think being smart has to do with uh, acceptance? Yeah, I do. I do think being smart has to do with acceptance. I sure do. North Carolina has an allotment to each state university. So if you were in public school in North Carolina, yes, they will have representation from every single county at the university. But also when you look at um, you, what you are told is, as long as you take the hardest things offered to you, you have an equal chance of going. That's always been kind of, um, not rhetoric in a bad way, but that's what you're told when it's about um, going to a university. But when you look at the entering freshman class at these public universities, they have taken a lot of AP classes. So when you live somewhere like we do, they don't might not have access to all those AP classes. And they'll tell you, you're not going to be punished. But then you got to look at, well, why is 70% of the freshman class taking AP classes? You know? Susan, you and I are going to disagree. I, um, I think getting in has a lot to do with your GPA and your SAT score. I mean, I'm just looking at how what the schools ask for, and that's what they're asking for. Um, are there other things? Maybe. But it's a big deal. My daughter got into the Air Force Academy and passed the physical fitness, but didn't get an appointment. Eleanor, I'd like to understand how that works. So this whole appointment to the Air Force Academy is maybe different, but it is confusing to me. The Coast Guard Academy so if you get in and you don't get the appointment, you don't get to go? Oh. Clearly, we don't know a ton about. We've been working on it this spring break. It's work. Um, <laughs> my cousin went to UVA, graduated, never had a career. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. Uh, anyway. SAT. Yes, I think that's a big thing. The SAT is not required for most. Um, the SAT is kind of going away, but the way I understand it is that if you do well in the SAT, it's worth it to bring it up. So it's trending to share the SAT score. Adrian did not break a thousand on the SAT, 
So that is, that's no good. So Adrian would not be um, bringing up her SAT score. My son was nominated and accepted to Honors Carolina. Oh, where's he gonna go, Gina? That's six people get into Chapel Hill. They did all take the higher classes as small towners. Well, are you telling me your schools don't offer AP courses? I'm telling you that in poor rural counties, we have a lot of trouble getting teachers, and we don't necessarily have teachers that can that are available to teach the rigor of an AP course. So our public high school has AP courses, but do they have as many AP courses as Broughton High School? I, I would doubt it. Now, I don't know that for sure, but I would doubt it. Um, dual enrollment is a really big thing in North Carolina, particularly in areas like ours, because our students can take community college classes for free, which obviously saves the public school system money, and people um, like it. Anyway, it's just the way it is. Being well-rounded and personal story writing. Oh, that's a good idea. It's true. Um, it's not going away at MIT. To my knowledge, ain't nobody uh, applying to MIT from here. What is that noise? Oh, it was the frickin' ice maker. You know, little Thomas today said, I wonder, USC, Southern California. I was like, I don't think you can get in there. Isn't that that place that the full house lady, that Lori Lachlan, isn't that where she was lying to get her children in? And they paid a lot to get them into a school, like 600000 600000 That is a lot of money to go to a college, isn't it? Especially when they could have just gone to community college and transferred over, like I said. What is that? Oh my God, it's the, the third cat. Tennis. Well, my kids are good at tennis, but they're not that good. <laughs> you can have a 4-6 U of M, and then if you're not doing all this stuff, you can't get in. There's another thing that we've we've talked a lot. Weighted and unweighted GPA. Oh, I don't know. I don't understand enough. I'm not I'm actually actually not the expert at this stuff. No. Me not. Consider honors colleges. Yes. Um, ECU has an honors college. A young lady from our area just got a full ride there to the honors college at ECU which is incredible. Um, so that's pretty neat. A ton of AP classes where we work. Chose Clemson. Little Thomas wants to look at Clemson. I thought that was going to be kind of neat. Dual enrollment is offered year two. Couldn't they have bought her a baby shop? Right. Wanted to work at NASA. Never paid a cent. Oh. confusing. It is confusing. It's a lot. So anyway, you might be out of this essay about Amos. So little Thomas and I feel very strongly that, well, I probably shouldn't have said it to him, but he does not want to, and it's probably because I've talked about it, like I find it whenever they're like kids that are like clearly doing things to, um, clearly doing things to get into college, right? Like, oh, they started this volunteer thing, and you're like, oh, that's just so fake. You know they did that to, like, put on a college application. I don't love that. Um, it's like a game that I don't want to play, I guess. Well, so little Thomas had some friends, and they were like, we could do this 5K for autism. And he was like, Mom, I'm not doing that. Like, the race has already started. It'd be one thing if we did it for autism, but like, I'm not gonna just jump in there to like put it on the application. It's fake. 
And I was like, I kind of agree with you. Like, I think you, if you want to do something like to help Amos, like, then do it. But like, have it be from your heart, not just because you think it might look good for a minute, you know? Yes, Thomas has a college counselor. Um, I think he's talked to him. I mean, we, we really have just clearly started this. Like, I'm just talking to you from the beginning of, like, telling you just what it's like as a junior in the spring of the year and the mistakes I already made. And the mistakes are sign up for the visits early. <laughs> Fraternities can bring huge problems. Go and be a student. So, Beth, it's interesting. Um... Your son went to Naval Summer Seminar, then a week at the Naval Academy. Oh, well, it's interesting. Thomas wants to go to a school, so he knows some things. He wants to go to a school that has, like, football and basketball, right? Like, that's important to him. Well, I went to Meredith College and was, like, right in the middle of everything NC State. So, I get it. It was really fun. So, he's not as interested in these smaller schools like that which is okay. He um, really thinks he wants to go in the Air Force. I don't know how he thinks this, but he does, and I'll, su I'll support him for that. But we've also been working this week on, like, you've got to email these senators, and you've got to do this, and you've got to do that. And um, he's taking the SAT prep class, you know, like he's learning what it takes. He had applied for the Air Force Academy summer camp, which he still hadn't heard from, and it was a lot of work, and he called me that weekend. He was like, I just don't think I'm going to apply. This, like, 3,000-word essay, I mean, I don't want to do this. I've been working on it, you know, all day. And I said, Thomas, it's up to you. But one thing they're doing is they want, they put these essays out there because they're trying to see who wants it. So if you have to go to all this trouble to get into a school, I don't think they really think that this senator knows best who should go. They want you to work your a double -S off to get there. How bad do you want it? I said, so you can quit right now and not apply to the summer camp. I don't care. It's up to you. But don't do anything where you always think later, boy, what if I had done that? What if I had taken that weekend? You're never going to remember what you did this weekend. You're not going to remember but you'll remember that summer camp if you get in. And if you don't get in, you can say, you know what? I tried. I tried. So that's just me. And again, I didn't make a thousand on the SAT. I went to Meredith College. I didn't even apply. I just, and they're coming to take me out to lunch this week. Meredith College, who I love. I hope they don't want money. Do you think they want money? Do I look like I have money? I don't have any money. Yes, we went to Wake Forest today. It was lovely. Such a nice school. And somebody said, does money matter? Well, hello, who am I, Forrest Gump? Yes, money matters. Hell yeah, it does. Wake Forest is 80000 a year. That's a lot of money. Um, Carolina is eighteen. I mean, it's a big deal. So, yeah, it matters. Brace of applying to the Air Force. You are nailing it. Apply to Summer Seminar or Martyr. Apply to Summer Seminar. If admitted, it's step one to the application. Oh, okay. Well, we're trying. Um, we're trying. Yes, I loved Meredith, but I didn't apply there. I was going to go to, I was going to go to Appalachian. I was going to go to Appalachian. Because I thought I liked the mountains. Let me try. My phone died. Shit, I was spilling water. My husband is good. Are you talking about the Air Force Academy? Yes, Maureen, I am. I sure am. Okay, there. Now it works. So, I um, <laughs> was going to go to... Appalachian. Now, my parents did not take me to visit colleges. We were not angry at them. We don't know why, but they didn't. Yeah, I saw somebody the other day, and they were like, young woman gets into all 50 colleges she applies to. 
why would you apply to 50 colleges? I mean, that is dumb, right? 50 colleges? Like, I hate you because you did that. I mean, I, I find that really annoying. 50 colleges? Like, you did that just to say you could. Seriously. It, it's $85 to apply to a college. 50? Was that $4,000? No. <sighs> okay, so, what about Ivy League? Mm, no, I don't think we're in Ivy League territory over here. <laughs> I'm going to go to Appalachian. It's about August 5th, and my dad says to me, let's talk about college. I said, I'm going to go to Appalachian. I had been to see it. I had gotten the acceptance. I hadn't paid, but I guess I just assumed that I would, you know, go. And he said, you're going to go to Appalachian. I said, yeah, I'm going to Appalachian. He said, well, you like the beach. It's far from the beach. I said, oh, yeah, but I can go on the weekends. He said, well, how are you going to get there? I said, well, you know, drive after class or whatever on Friday. And he said, oh, now, he swears he, he doesn't remember this, but clearly I'm being honest. I couldn't let you have a car if you went to school in the mountains. Now, if you went to Meredith, you could have a car there. So I'm telling him this yesterday. He's like, I didn't say that. I'm like, where did I go to school, Dad? He said, Meredith. I said, did I take a car? Yes. And I was like, and I loved Meredith. Like, it was wonderful. I didn't know where I wanted to go. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't have a clue. And so I think it's okay to say that to Thomas. Like, let's look here. Well, I don't want to look there. Why don't you? Well, I really want to go to a school that has a football team. Okay, well, I hear that. I'm listening. How about Georgia? I don't think I want to go that far away. Okay. You know, like, if you want to go somewhere you don't want to, Let's talk about why. Let's talk about what you actually know or don't know. You know, let's have these conversations. What about going to the Air Force and letting them pay for your college? Yes, I'm sure you could do that. That is not the path where we're, that's not our main goal path, but we're trying another path. But the path might not work. We'll go down another path. <laughs> so anyway... I go to Meredith. I love it. I majored in child development. I wanted to be pre-med. My parents weren't honest with me and didn't say, Adrian, you appear to have trouble getting over a C in biology. Pre-med is probably not going to be great for you. They didn't say that. So it took me about two years to realize that pre-med was not happening for me. And um, I have studied child development. Well, suddenly... I felt like I was smart. I was like this. Oh, yeah, I saw the prep school program, Rhonda. I saw that. I don't know much about it, but I did see it. Um, yes, the Honors College at ECU, I think, would be nice. Well, I ended up, like, thinking, I'll be darned. I mean, I'm getting A's. Like, I'm a good student. I mean, I went to a professor one time. I got a B, and I said, I don't get B's. I've never gotten a B in my life. What can I do about this? And the professor was like, I don't know. I guess you're going to have to do extra credit. <laughs> Self-fulfilling prophecy. The professor thought I was smart. Then I became smart. <laughs> oh, I tickle myself. So anyway, I graduated a semester early. I went to Africa, lived there for a summer. I uh, lived in Aspen for a season. I went to graduate school at Carolina. Got into graduate school at NC State and Cornell. Wanted to go to Cornell. My dad came in again and said, if you want to go to Cornell, you need to look at student loans. So I went to State. Love State. Loved NC State. 
I got a full ride to NC State for my PhD. It was incredible. What a great experience. Great experience. So there you go. Bring him down to Ole Miss. Hmm. I don't know if I need my cute Thomas at Ole Miss. He might never come home again, marry some girl from Mississippi, and I'll never see him. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, I think we will figure out where he really wants to go and we'll work hard on those. But I think he will apply to some schools that maybe he doesn't know if he loves, but we think he can pretty definitely get in. That way, if he doesn't get in the one he thinks he wants, then we'll go visit those schools. David Center High Point. Yes, but Tanya, he's really in on this football team thing for some reason. I know, I just said, why don't you look at Ohio State? That's where his grandparents went. I said, it'd probably be kind of awesome. I bet there are not many people from North Carolina at Ohio State. It'd probably be real popular. <laughs> yes, Marla, just like that. I don't think he's going to law school. Auburn. I, I, I almost went to U University of Tennessee in Knoxville. In fact, my cousin's son is there and loves it. Loans are the deal breaker. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely say pick a school if you can get somewhere with some merit, whatever, and not have a loan. Then heck yeah, you don't want a loan. We're still paying off a law school loan. I mean, Thomas has been out of law school, I feel like 90 years, and we're gonna be paying that $224.32 a month. Like probably until Amos is 21 or something insane. My brother went to University of South Carolina and my two cousins. I love it too. So he said the other day, oh, I don't want to go there. I want to go to Clemson. I said, what do you know about Clemson in South Carolina? Nothing. <laughs> Villanova. I hadn't asked about that. Um, I don't think Thomas really cares about being at like a party school per se. He's He's got some ideas in his mind of what he wants to do. Um, so I think he's interested in the military, the State Department. I think he's, but he's also fun too. So anyway, but it's been nice. I mean, we went and spent a night and saw three colleges and, um, what fun it is to spend time with your kids, especially when you have four of them and one has special needs. Just really fun to spend time together, just the two of us, and talking in the car, like for hours. I just, such an enjoy, enjoyable thing. And I said to him tonight, you know, Thomas, we're gonna look back at this and we're gonna remember how fun it was. So let's like, let's think about how awesome it is right now. Cause I hate to look back and say, boy, that was great. And I kind of look back when they were little and think, wow, that was amazing. It was so fun and they were little, but I, I want to enjoy it in the moment, you know? I mean, I think when you say there's no education worth 50000 I don't agree with you. I think that um, Wake Forest University, to be honest, you would get an amazing education. They have one professor per 11 students. They are pushing and challenging and offering. The reason you're paying a lot is because you're being offered a lot. So there is something to, I mean, my dissertation was cost and quality of childcare programs. Expensive childcare programs are more likely to be high quality. Maybe it's because they pay the teachers more. Maybe they have less turnover. Maybe they have better facilities. You can't, we love to say like, money doesn't matter, but it does matter. It matters. And if you, um, I'm not saying Carolina and state and UVA aren't great, but when you are paying for a college like that, I promise you, you're getting some good stuff. No, so it might not be worth it to you, but it is a good education. But in the long run, at the end of your career, I have some good friends that 
never set a toe in private school. I never set a toe in public school until grad school. And we're here now, and it's like, did one of us, have we been more successful? No, I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. I have friends that had the Moorhead Scholarship, never set a toe in private school. They've been pretty damn successful. Hello. So, anyway, I, I think you could go round and round, which came first, the chicken or the egg. Um, if Thomas went to NC State or Carolina or Clemson or the Air Force Academy or Wake Forest and he was excited about where he was going, I would be excited about where he was going. We went to State, Carolina, and Wake Forest, but we did not have visits at State or Carolina. One, because they didn't have any, mainly, but two, if they had had any, we wouldn't have been able to get into them because they fill up really quickly. So that was how my video started. Note to self, sign up in time. You know? Yes, we had a delightful day. So fun. Such We just had such a good time. Such a good time. Um, subscribers, see you tomorrow. Little Thomas is going to be coming on with me at 10 a.m. to talk about the college visit. Um, how do you define success? Ooh, that's a, that's a question. I used to think I knew. I used to think that, um, yeah, like they don't have grad students teaching at Wake Forest. When we were at state, when I was at state as a grad student, I taught classes. I can tell you, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. And my classes were very popular. I got very good marks, like evaluation grades. But was I as good of one of those Wake Forest people that I met today at teaching your children? Well, maybe I was. No, I don't think I was. <laughs> I liked it, though but I don't know how good I was. I did challenge people to think. And then tomorrow at noon, Carrie Cariello and Kate Swenson are gonna be over on my big page, which is gonna be great. Carry on people, good luck. Yeah, success. When you love a little person with special needs, you learn that success can be um, On Thursday, my nine-year-old blessed me when I sneezed. He's never said bless you before. And I was like, so excited that he said bless you. He's been getting his shoes on all by himself, on the right feet. Like, that is successful. You know, it's not a PhD. It's not the Air Force Academy. It's not the Moorhead Scholarship. It's not, you know, the oncologist. It's, what are you doing with what you have? And how are you going to make the world better with it? You know? Maybe you're Mickey, the plumber that came to visit us this week and brought Amos a t-shirt because last time Amos was homesick, he was right in the middle of what Mickey was doing. And I would argue that Mickey is doing some valuable work. You know, he's a plumber, but he's successful, right? Amos is successful. Um... So people are gonna do different things and be successful. And I think we have to tell our children like it, success really is, it's a, a moving target, you know. It's not this pinnacle of a point. Anyway, there's the cat trying to get out. Carry on. <laughs>